so I hope you watched the last video where I introduced you to Logic Pro. I also introduced myself. Uh, shout out to Create to Learn. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. Hashtag Create to Learn. CJ Grizz. Check me out on uh, CJGrizz.com and also on Instagram. CJ Grizz underscore. All right, let's just dive right in. Like I said, we're going to do this, make beats, do this step by step. So if you check this out, we have it set to 112. Just a simple tempo. Uh, let's check. So I want to start, let's start with a piano, basic piano. Uh, start with a ghost piano, because I think that sounds cool. Let's open up the piano, though. Uh... If you don't have a MIDI controller, that's cool. Well, let's see what I just pressed. If you don't know any music theory, that's cool. Uh, I, I suggest you do search up like what code, what the uh, chords are, what modes are, scales, uh, what keys are, and uh, it's pretty basic information that you can find. I've found everything I needed online. So uh, what I what I pressed here was a G minor. You can even see up there in the, the information bar is that a, that I pressed a G minor, and it also shows here that's a G minor chord. We're just gonna build from a G minor chord. So let's uh, let's just press it in. I'll just record it in with my MIDI. Okay. I'm gonna stretch this pattern. another one actually I don't like any of that <laughs> but yeah we can learn from our mistakes let's do it again So you see this MIDI note, these are all the MIDI information that we've uh, recorded. If I press uh, Command A, it's going to select all of it, and if I press Q, it's going to quantize it. So if you look right here on the grid lines, that means it's going to move it right on, onto the lines. It's going like, to like magnet them, magnetize them right onto the lines. That's a good way of looking at it. Let's do it. Oh, okay. You see these ones? I didn't. That's not where I wanted it. That's because it was closer to those lines than it were was that line. So you know you don't have to quantize them. You can uh, not quantize them to give them a more human feel. But uh, yeah, so this is our uh, chords that we recorded. We can edit them. We can uh, go over here and we can press scissors, we can press command, it turns into a scissors, we can cut them, we can manipulate them, there's so many things we can do. Put it back to a pencil. So we recorded our four bar loop. Let's move on to an 808. Open up another software instrument, just press this plus sign, you can open up another track. Open up Alchemy, press create. Uh, we're going to close the library just to have more room here. Uh, if we press, just click on the middle right here. Opens up Alchemy. So if I press File, press Initialize Preset, it's going to make everything like uh, it's going to empty everything out, make it like an initialized preset. We're going to import audio. So you can do this because the alchemy comes with Logic Pro. So we're going to go to our desktop. That's where I loaded this uh, base kit. This is going to be the free kit that I'm uh, going to be providing y'all with. So we're going to choose our 808. I like that one. So we're going to click sampler right here. Make sure samplers click. Press import. Now 
if you're wondering which notes to play, we're gonna use. I'm gonna go back to our chords right here and use the bottom note here, the bass note, as reference. So that's a G. So we're gonna go back here. We'll go to a lower octave. And it just it just keeps pressing uh, G right here, so we can we can we can do quite a bit with it still though. Jeez. Let's put this up here. One octave up. Press uh, command left or command right if you want to widen or zoom in, zoom out. I actually don't like that. Press Alt Shift N. It's gonna rename this region the same as the 808 as you named it on the track. Alright, so we made our 808. We made it an alchemy, which is uh, a sampler that uh, Logic has. It also has a bunch of other stuff inside Alchemy. But there's also different ways you can make your 808s. You can uh, use an uh, EXS sampler, which is a different type of sampler that Logic has. You can also use a synthesizer, which is a little bit more complex, and I would recommend like uh, either finding some presets or uh, finding a video on how to create those presets. Uh, you can also have a VST generator that makes uh, 808 sounds. Or you can also just like load the 808 waves directly on here and then you can just manipulate them with the transposer but uh, you know that's a little bit time consuming and my, my favorite way is just uh, using a sampler and a simple wave file because you can uh, collect so many different types of uh, 808 waves and there's always so many available online so we have our 808 we have our uh, ghost piano and uh, yeah it kind of sounds pretty kind of sounds pretty grimy uh, let's open up another instrument, open up software instrument, press a little s plus sign, let's just press create. Uh, I want to open up uh, maybe a synthesizer, because we want to make like a lead now. Mm, let's, let's choose something cool, or something that sounds really good, I don't know about this chip too. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's a cool thing too. Is like you you can also just like explore all these sounds that Logic has, and they sound really good, in my opinion. Oof. So, like I said, we're we're gonna try to make a lead using the same uh, key, the G minor, the same as we use uh, the same key that we used to make the ghost piano, and uh, the same key that we used to make the 808. Okay, uh, what I really like, uh, if you don't really know how to like make lead, but a cool way to make original sound still is uh, using the arpeggiator, it's a MIDI effect that Logic has, it's the ARP. So let's just set this to 818, and let's just set this variation to 2, or no, set it to 3, and set the octave range to 2. So let's just set this note order to this, or we can try setting it to random. But let's just see how it sounds. We're gonna press the, all the notes in the in the the G minor chord, which is the G. Yeah, I like it like that. All right, so we've created our melody by using an ARP. Let's close this. What really helps uh, your chords is layering them. So we're gonna open up another uh, empty channel strip, and uh, it's really it's a really important part of uh, uh, beat making, especially uh, when you really want to sound unique. You know, it's blending your sounds, and uh, it's not just sounding like one instrument. So it's gonna be interesting. Let's uh, duplicate this. So you can kind of hear it if you mute it. So you kind of see how they kind of accentuate each other, kind of complement each other. Let's see if something else. kind of brings it out more, has a little bit more tension. Also, uh, just gonna throw this in here, this is a little, uh, just because I, the, the chip tune lead is a little bit uh, piercing to me, so I kind of want to just put a little EQ on it, a little soft high pass. See, it sounds a little bit more softer now. All right, so we got yeah, we got we got our main building blocks for uh, making this beat. We made it in uh, four bars. Uh, we made them in the uh, G minor, the key of G minor. We use, we're using that as reference the whole time. And yeah, so next we're gonna be making uh, some drum patterns. So make sure you uh, keep watching for the next vid. I think we're off to a great start right here. Sounds really good. <laughs> 